If you're anything like me, you probably have a bunch of stuff piled against the wall in your garage and it just looks like a mess. Well today I'm going to show you five simple products that will get that garage looking much better. And the best part is all five of these products can work together so you can have it all in one location. Now this first product I just discovered on Amazon because it's brand new. This right here installs vertically like this on your wall and gives you an area to put camping chairs or tents or anything lightweight, maybe like yoga mats up against the wall and gets them off the floor and has a nice little storage area as well. It also comes with a nice little shelf on the top for some additional storage there and some hooks down here on the bottom so you can hang stuff as well. Now when I first received this, it came in a little box and it had a bunch of little pieces and it just felt really lightweight and I was a little concerned that this wouldn't be very strong. But then I looked at the hardware and it gave me a little extra hope. Here's a little surprise I had when opening the hardware. I rarely ever see extra pieces, but this one says it needs three, I have four. Three, I have four, and three, I have four. What's the chance of that? So I continued to assemble it, and once I had all of the hardware cinched down, this feels like a relatively sturdy product, but I won't know for sure until I get it up on the wall. So let's work on that. Now this product came with some mounting screws that might work well in wood and drywall, but I'm gonna be using it in concrete, so I need some concrete anchors. I decided to add some washers to this just to give it some additional support since it's in a garage and it's going into a concrete wall and I kept it as level as possible. Now that it's installed, my first impressions are it's relatively sturdy. I mean, I wouldn't dare try and hang from this or put any like 50 pound weights on this. It would probably bend the metal. But for what we want, I think it'll do well. So let's load this up. With it fully loaded up, it's still relatively sturdy, but again, I wouldn't put too much weight on this. There's a pretty good chance you'll bend the metal. But overall, what I'm using it for, this should work great. Plus, it gives me a lot more room on the floor again. And just so you know, I was not sponsored by any of these companies or products. Now for our second type of storage, if you've ever tried to hang up a hose or maybe an electrical cord over one center post or nail, there's a good chance two things could happen. First off, this could easily deform, causing problems when you're trying to use it in the future. And two, if you happen to go by it and just barely bump it, it could fall off and start to unravel and just be very frustrating. Then I came across a company that uses Velcro to strap everything together. Yes, I know Velcro has been around for decades. I'm not trying to say that's new. But this company took it one step further and added a grommet in one end. And that will allow you to strap everything together nicely and hang it on that nail or hook that you originally wanted to put it on. And with a width of about 2 inches, it's less likely to warp your cables or hoses. Plus it can work great on odd shaped tools like a leaf blower, make it easy to store up on the wall. And just in case you have different size tools, the version I purchased comes with 6 straps in 3 different sizes. And if you happen to have a small carabiner, these can work great on the shelf we showed in number 1. Now number 3 I discovered at my dad's house a while back. He had been using this type of storage for a few years now. So I grabbed one, ran to my wife and said, hey honey, look what I discovered, this is going to be awesome. She goes, yeah I've been using those for a while now too. What? You ever had one of those moments that you just feel oblivious to what's around you? Yeah, that's what happened to me. Now just in case you didn't know, these are considered plastic shoe boxes. And let me show you why these are awesome to use in your workshop or garage. First off, it's almost clear on all the sides, making it easy to see what's inside. And secondly, the lid goes on and off really quickly, so you can get to those contents really easy as well. And my favorite of all, just in case it's a little bit hard to see what's inside, you can always take some bright tape and a marker and write exactly what's on there, just in case it's hard to see from a distance. Now if you are interested in some of these plastic shoe boxes, and I do recommend them, I would highly suggest just looking at one of your big box retailer stores, you can usually find 10 packs of these for a lot cheaper than you can find on Amazon. Now looking back at the unit we just installed on the wall, these boxes fit nicely on the top shelf. Now for those of you who like to keep small slender tools like pencils or pens or maybe zip ties in your garage, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to store these without damaging them and be able to find them when you need them. Well, I have a great way to fix that. Now most garages or shops have at least a little bit of pegboard for storage. And if by chance you don't, you might want to consider this for number four. I recently discovered these little hoops that had the little holders for your pegboard. And these help utilize a little plastic cup. And these cups are great if you want to store maybe your pencils, or if you have a bunch of zip ties, or basically any other small tool. Now the selection I chose from is a six pack of this smoky clear color, but they have a variety of different colors you can choose from. Now of course I wanted to utilize our unit we put 
it up earlier. So I cut out a piece of pegboard. I believe this is 11 by 14 and a half. It fits well on the face of this and we're just gonna zip tie it in place. And once I have the zip ties in place, instead of cutting off the tab, I'm just gonna put it around back in case I have to tighten it in the future. Then we can utilize the space in the front of our storage unit. Christmas lights, they can be a challenge to store, especially when it's that time to unravel them. Oh boy. But I just recently discovered a way to store them so it's much easier to unravel. Here is an all-purpose holder that is meant for Christmas lights and for extension cords. If you notice on the sides over here, there's little grooves, and that's to make sure everything stays in alignment as you add to it or take off. Now, of course, this is not perfect, but if you've ever tried to roll up Christmas lights, then you'll definitely understand this will work a lot better. The setup also comes with these S-hooks to make the storage a little bit easier. And it's finally time to add these to our wall unit. And there's a great way to take five separate storage ideas and turn it into one large unit for your garage. Now for those of you who want to see a little bit closer look at any of these products, I'll put a link to those in the description below, so make sure you check them out. Otherwise, if you have any other great ideas for simple storage for your garage, put those in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Otherwise, you might want to check out this next video.